and some stuff. So uh, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna get to selling baits here in just a little bit, and uh, yeah, that's that's what we do here. So I've got a bunch of stuff I've loaded up. I'm gonna have another stream probably Saturday night or Sunday. I'm gonna have a lot more soft plastics. I got some more living rubber jigs. We're gonna sell those in bulk. Um, some other stuff, maybe some build ants, fat free shads, uh, maybe some lightning shads. I know Joe has been one some. I found some. So I did load up a little nice little rare one, uh, a Rapala clack and wrap. Um, that's up there. I got some rattle traps and pairs for sale. See so if we get some deals. A lot of bandits, uh, pretty much all OGs except for a couple new in the pack 100s uh, there. So, yeah, man, everything's good. Just been working a lot, you know. I got back from vacation and uh, the man's been putting it to me, but uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to get some YouTube stuff. I'm also editing a TV show every week. So that's slowed me down quite a bit. So if you're not subscribed to Mark Menendez Bass TV over on YouTube, uh, do so. Just search up MM Bass TV, hit subscribe. Uh, so I'll film and edit his show, and it's going really good. So, but uh, did get something new in here. I kind of I don't like teasing everybody. Uh, this won't be available for a couple months. Um, this is the new Six Sense Hush Frog. So if you like the Vega Frog or didn't like the Vega Frog frog you may be interested in this now it's going to be a bit for this thing drops and i just got this in the mail about a week ago and i hadn't had time to test it but if you're a frog guy you're probably gonna like this this has a, a different design more of an um it's a little smaller and compact than the vega frog but if you'll notice collapse is really really easy around uh that hook and so that's what you want in a frog you want that hook to come exposed as quick as possible so really looking forward to throwing that one. I think this is some kind of gill color. Uh, it looks really good. And I like that it's already come. Uh, the, the legs are pre-trimmed. Is it soft as a scum frog? It's really soft. It's, scum frogs are almost so soft they, they rip, but uh, it's hard to beat a scum frog for being soft. But uh, I'm going to go throw this around, trying to walk. I don't know if we'll have to bend this one out or not. It, it comes away from the body uh, pretty easily. So the hooks are stout, uh, but you got a little keel there on the top to squirt any water out. So uh, the weights back here, usually they put the keel on the bottom. Uh, but I'm looking forward to that one. That's a sweet color. Um, but anyway, that's kind of new from Six Sense. If you didn't know, the hair jig just dropped. And my man, John Garrett. From Union City, Tennessee, just down the road, just won an elite series event on a hair jig, not this particular one, a homemade deal. Um, so the hair jig is still old school, still alive and well. You can pair it with forward facing sonar, or you can just throw it out there at a school. It's not a search bait. Uh, hair jig is kind of an individual bait. And then the little bambusa stick worm, that's now live on the website. You can use my code anytime to order from Six Cents. It's Baitman. But anyway, we got 30 people in here. I just forgot to load. Let me load some giveaways, guys. Let me load the giveaways. I forget to do this every time. That's not it. Let me load the giveaways, and then we will get to selling some baits on here. Be sure to share the stream. Tag somebody be some good deals tonight not a lot of super rare stuff but we got a lot of og bandits i don't know why every time i'm on top on this this thing can't even spell giveaway quantity three giveaways at least i'm just saying uh, well i was going to do later darius but i got i got tv show stuff to work on so i'm gonna use my later time i'll get all this shipped up so anyway all right, we'll go ahead. Uh, I'm going to run a giveaway. We're going to give away a P65 pop bar for somebody. So this one's in really good shape. 
So now this one's just one small step down from a P75. It's got Excalibur trebles on it. So that's going to be our first giveaway tonight. Let's go ahead and get this up into the giveaway. And we'll go ahead and run it in a run for about five minutes. So if you're following, you'll be entered. All right, the giveaway is going live for a nice Tennessee Shad P65 pop bar. Good shape. All right, let's uh, go to the auction block. And we'll run it like usual. We'll just go down the list. I'll probably save most of the bandits for the end. Here's a really nice deal. Uh, first up, we've got two rattle traps, one in Silverado Sparkle. And these are old Excalibur uh, boxes. So, And I'm not sure what this color is. It's a shad pattern. They're both half ounce. Started a dollar for both of them. Here we go. If you're just joining, we got a giveaway live. So <clears throat> you can hit that and get in there to our giveaway. So two rattle traps. Right now they're at three bucks. So buck fifty each. Um, one might be a newer one. One is definitely older. I do not have any mega bass grenades. That thing's been discontinued. They're kind of hard to get. Um, wasn't really a great bait anyway. So. I have, I've been searching for them, but I'm not going to pay 40, 50 bucks a piece for them. So now if I could find some cheap, I would six cents crank. Gabby, I, I don't have any six cents cranks for sale. Hog wild. Congratulations. And you got a new basketball coach. How about that? Um, I don't sell my six cents cranks because I get them from them on my pro staff deal. And just, uh, dude, I'll be honest, striking 8.0 is a really, really good bait. Every now and then, I do come across some deep X 100s, Blake. If I do, I'll, I'll, I'll snag them. Yep. For, if it's if you're a first time buyer, I do throw something extra in your, uh, your package. Could be some soft plastics, could be, uh, some baits, but I always give a little something extra for a first time buyer. That's one thing cool about my show I try to do. Stretch my Furby. What a name. All right. Here we go. Here's some more rattle traps. These are quarter ounce. I got a chrome blue one. And I think this color is just called bait fish. So many rattle traps. So many color names. All right. And they start at a dollar here. That's a great name. I see some great ones here. So quarter ounce. Great for your pond guys. Great for extra shallow water fishermen. Uh, not a lot of guys making a quarter ounce slipless anymore, but this is for the pair. Right now, they're at a dollar. I think I'm going to, I think when the wife gets home, I'm going to say, what's up, girl? What about stretching that Furby? Probably not going to work out good for me. I promise that. Hey, Ogwild. Congratulations, man. All right. I'm just going down the list. All right, I got two. Half ounce, sexy shad, red eye shad. I put them in the same uh, box here. Uh, one of these come from an OG package, but the package is all beat up. So you'll notice, I think, you know, the older one's got more blue in it uh, than that one. So two red eye shads for a dollar. You know, they retail for six, seven bucks. So somebody's going to get a really good deal here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, Blake. It's a good way to be alone for the evening. All this stuff, I'll have it shipped out tomorrow night too, guys. I, I try to stay on top of the ship and make it nice and quick. That's what she said. Thank D Mark. All right. Let's do a little Bandit 100. This is a newer one. Look at that. Seven bucks on this thing. And on Tackle Warehouse, there's $7.99. All right, here we go. New in packets at three dollars currently. Let's go. We got one minute left for uh, the giveaway, so we got forty-three guys in here. Let's see if everyone can get entered. New in pack Bandit One Hundred. This color is red crawfish. This that uh, this one is not pre. Bradco. And D Mart takes it down. Thank you, D Mart. Uh, we'll wait till this giveaway rolls off here. Y'all got about 25 seconds and it's going to spin the deal. 
Toto, I got a clacking wrap up there. I, I found a couple red ones. I couldn't believe it when I found them. There's a bone chartreuse one that I really want for my personal self. All right, let's see who's going to win this Gibby. It is Joe in North Carolina. Congrats, Joe. Oh, P65 Popar. We'll throw another giveaway up and uh, here in a little bit. And I believe I'm going to put up a little old school Cotton Cordell Super Spot. That'll be the next giveaway in the package, by the way. All right, let's uh, roll down the list here. I really need to go by what, uh, what I've got available to me. All right, let's see here. Let's do this. This is just uh, on top. We're going to go ahead and run it now. This is a discontinued Rapala Clack, Clack and Wrap 07. I got a little bucket of baits. I'm just going by what's on top. It's currently $3. These things go for $15, $20 bucks on eBay a piece. Really good bait here. I wish they'd bring it back. Uh, this one's never been fished. It's red with the green, black. Actually, it has a little scratches. I'm sorry. It's been banged around in tackle box. But this one's in good, good shape. Man, listen to that. That is definitely louder than a one knocker. Great bit. I love I love that it's translucent a little bit. Landfill duck, congratulations, duck. Dude, clacking wraps are badass. They're just hard to find. All right. All right. I'm just going down the list here. Actually, I, I'm going to go by what's on top of my bait pal. All right, we got another Bandit 100, new in pack. This one is Old Light Matte. Don't ask why they call it Old Light, but it's kind of a brown, little orange belly. This is a new one. Can they retail for $7.99 or so? But bought this in a nice lot and they were in there so someone can get them a nice deal goes two to five foot good little bait good good bait this time of year get around some of them spawning bass or, or late pre-spawners good post spawn bait here we go johnson gonna take it down thank you johnson I always try to post all my baits ahead of time so guys if you want to you can always pre-bid in case you're going to miss it. No flat A's tonight. I uh, might try to run some this weekend. Uh, let's see what's on top of my pile here. Here's a Norman DD-22. I've got some good color DD-22s in here, by the way. So I got this one. All right, here it goes. This one's in the pack. Pack's a little beat up. Uh, colors Tennessee Shed. This is an older pack. This is back made in the USA. Fixing to have to go get something to drink here in just a second. Uh, my mouth's just absolutely dry. Uh, Quantum's no fly fishing stuff. Don't really have a lot of fly fishing stuff in here. A Norman for a dollar is a pretty good deal. I've been selling the DD22s for anywhere between four and eight bucks, I guess, depending on color. So. If y'all think you got a chance to get a good deal, go ahead and get in. And sorry if I'm not active on YouTube uh, right now. I apologize. D Mark gonna take it down again. All right, I'm gonna run a bait and I'm gonna go get me something to drink. How about another Norman DD22? This one's my favorite color. Chartreuse Purple Sparkle. Y'all should have seen this one, so. I'm going to run it. Y'all got 30 seconds. I'm going to go get me a drink. Hopefully, I'll be back in 30 seconds. Norman DD22 Chartreuse Purple Back. Hey, Neely, I got to go get a drink. Okay. I'll watch. You show them that bait. Okay. The green one or the purple? <laughs>
Give me a sec if my dad has to come back. Someone said hi, Neely. Oh, yeah, you got orange all over your face. <laughs> all right. Well, you want to sit in here and sell baits with Daddy? You tell him. Yeah, who won that? Uh, See, Barney won it. Say, thank yeah. you, Barney. Yeah. She says, Barney won. Say, thank you, Barney. Thank you, Barney. All right. You can sit in here with Daddy if you want to. I don't have a stool. You don't have a stool? No. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. You can stand right. All right. Thank you, Neely, very much. It broke. It broke? All right. Because it broke. How about Norman Deep Baby Inn Baby Bass? Can I show it? You want to show it? Hmm. Let me find it here. How was this? How was this? What the heck? Fit in here? That will never fit. Oh, here we go. Norman, deep baby in and baby bass. Right here. She is getting huge. This one is uh, got the lateral line. Lena, he nearly wants to show it. See? There you go. Good little bait there. Maybe you're doing a good job. Man, I was thirsty. Nothing like good cold water. All right, two dollars. D. Mark gonna take it down. He's gonna clean house tonight. Wow, good price on that. Good price. All right, let's go here and. Move Neely. I got to get to my baits. Uh, here's another Norman. Norman. This is going to be a deep little end in Lavender Shed. Can I still hear you? Huh? Can I still hear you? Uh, deep little end, Lavender Shed. This is a suspend model. You know, so let me get it out of the package here. You go. Got a little red hook on the bottom. Good huh. color. Suspend model. Oh, we might have a new buyer in here. Yeah. Yeah. You're on live, right? Yep, it's live. Congrats, <gasps> Joe Cole. Joe. First time buyer. Appreciate it. Let's do this one. You want to do this one? All right. We'll just do what Neely wants to do. All right, six XD coming up because that's what Neely wants. It's cool. It's cool. All right, Citrus Shed six XD. It's getting close to summer. It'd be a good time to stock up on some deep diving crankbaits. Oh, cool. Yeah, we can't sell on them anyway. I know. One dollar right now. Citrus Shed. Those are just the background. Those, yeah, that is just the background right now. All new people, make sure you hit the follow button. We'll be doing a followers giveaway uh, here about halfway. Ooh, not feeling too good. And it's gravy. Yeah. Thank you, gravy. Neely says, thank you. She was happy. All right, which one do I do next, Neely? Um, we're doing the big one. We're doing the big one. Oh, you want the DD-22 and root beer mm -hmm. lateral line. So, that's a really good one. So, I might want it's that one. one color I've thrown a lot. All right. All right, here we go. It's got one bit on it. It's at a dollar right now. One of the best brush ball crankbaits ever made. But this is root beer lateral line. What's up, LG Fishing? It's in really good What's shape. That? It's got one of those classic places from the packaging on it. But this one's never been fished. Great color. I've even got a Mountain Dew in here tonight. Uh, so you can get a Mountain Dew and a root beer. Uh -huh. it Almost kind of looks perchy. So if you're a northern guy, have no fear throw the root beer, dude. I tell you, Malone, it just catches. I don't know what about this color, whether it's Bandit, a Norman, uh, I gotta go Rattle to Trap. You got to go to the bathroom? Yeah. All right. Well, I hate you leaving. Go party. I'm coming back. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. 
potty break time. Hey, Sean, thank you so much. Best baits to throw right now here in Savannah, Georgia. Man, it's got to be a sight fishing deal. So I would be on them plastics pretty hard. Drew, Drew Cook might tell you big bite fighting frog. <clears throat> All right, let's go. This is on top. Here's a discontinued Bandit 400. Chartreuse and blue. And it's got them old school big triple grips on it. All right, come on through here, Neely. Where are those little things supposed to be for? Yeah, we don't need to open those, okay? We don't. All right. I'm going to put this up here. So Neely right. was gone. I picked it up. Bandit 400. Chartreuse and blue. Well, uh, All right, here we go. Whoa, $7 on this one. Okay. They go for pretty pricey. What software and setup you editing, big man? I use all Adobe stuff. Uh, Adobe Premiere. That's what I edit in. All right, there it is. Bandit 400. Chartreuse. Blue back. Run the Bagley. Okay, I'll run the Bagley next. If I can find it, I'll run it. So if you guys got any requests or something to run, that's uh, I'll put everything on the auction block. Yeah. Mountain Basser is going to take it down. Thank you, Mountain Basser. Y'all shoot me a request, what, okay. and we'll try to, to find it. All right, Neely's going to pick another one. With my eyes closed. With your eyes closed. Oh, fat-free shed. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is not a build dance one. It's just a normal fat free shed. Computer specs, dude. I got a laptop that's about six Whoa. years old. So it's it's six like me. I think it's an HP. I'm not sure, but it works really good. This is. This I'm probably gonna buy a new one. I'm probably gonna go back to the Mac. I always edited on a Mac for years. But I'll be honest, the Windows computer has done really, really good. All right, here we go. Fat Free Shad, uh, Watt, Hollow Shad. That is not a build dance one. Yeah, so uh, it's technically 28 minutes and 30 seconds. That's what I got to send to the TV um, station. So that includes commercials. So really, in a 30-minute fishing show, there's only about, uh, I don't know, 18 minutes of fishing. Dog check for life. All right, congratulations, dog check for life. First time buyer, Neely. We give them a free bait when they win, okay? Okay. Do you think you could sell baits for me? Mm-hmm. Neely, what kind of baits are these? Are these crankbaits? Are these crankbaits? I think. You think? Okay, you're good. All right, Critical Gravy wants a 6A crawl. So we'll find it for him. Actually, someone said Bagley's. Here it is right here. Here's a Bagley's. This is a DB2. I thought I was going to pick. Well, the, the the viewers have requested a few baits. So Bagley's DB2. I love this color. I don't know exactly what they call it, but it's like a pearl white. It's got a blue back, a little blue belly. Uh, I like it. I like this bait a lot. All right. Okay. All right, hold on, Neil. We got to auction this one. Is it on there? Is it on there? Yep, here it is. All right, so we got four beds right now. Is it eight dollars? Classic Bagley's. And it's Classic. got Bagley apostrophe S, so this is a Florida bait for sure. What's up, Maddie? This is an old school bait, Neely. This was made way before you were born. Oh, what about that black one? That black one? Uh, Don't get your hair caught in on baits. Okay. What color of water are you throwing this? Uh, gravy, I throw this one in, in lightly stained or dirtiest oh, water. I, like, I Believe it or not, I like the flash the white gives off. Alan's Bates, oh. first purchase, man. Thank you. Mike. We got another first purchase in here. We'll give him some little gift in his package for shopping with us. Yeah. Uh, baby in. Okay. Let me find. Let me do. Oh, here we go. Right here. Here we go. Here's a deep baby in, chartreuse blue. Okay, 
Which one are you picking next? Neely's going to wants to band it after this. So here we go. Chartreuse Blue Deep Baby in. At the request of Mr. Neighbor. Good little bait. Good river bait, man. These things are really good in small waters. Neely, Neely's digging through the pile. I think Neely will be the one that really takes up fishing. She likes it. Bagley and crappie sh shape and color. I don't have one, man. Uh, I don't even have one at my... Actually, I got a DB3 and baby bass, but it's all brass. I'm not selling it. Mm. That bait is really long. It is really long. Yeah. Neely has been doing really good in school, by the way. She's my super smart kid. Brooks is smart, too. He's been reading a lot. He likes to read. Thank you, Justin Neighbors Fishing First Purchase. You know what? I believe I can find something else to throw in that there. Again, if you guys are new to my streams, if you're a first-time buyer, I always throw something extra in. Uh, just my way of seeing fake. You like anything in bass, crappie, natural perch colors? All right. Uh, Let's keep that see. in mind. Is this the one you wanted to do next, anyway? Yeah, after this All right, one. Here we go. This is a Bandit 100. It's a new one. That was your new one? Yeah. Ooh. Good color here. I think this is like chartreuse brown crawl, chartreuse belly. Just These Bandit 100s are fish catchers. You can throw them in ponds. You can throw them anywhere. No, this is a new one. It's not a pre prepper. Yeah, man. Sometimes I got plenty of extra six cents stuff to give away, and uh, I'll I'll throw it in there. Sometimes I'll throw an old school bait, or maybe I've got three or four spares that I was going to auction. I'll send it out. Johnson, thank you, man. All right, what'd you pick out, Neely? Um, not this one. Let me we find. gotta go fast. What is that? Oh. It's an old school bandit. Neely says, let's run an old it school bandit. Like it's got the triple grips on it. It looks like mermaid scales. It looks like mermaid scales. Okay. Maybe you should be bait namer. Yeah, this one's definitely old school. You see the two little dots on the belly. That's a dead giveaway. Uh, it's a pre Pradco. Dead giveaway? Yeah. What does that post mean? What does that post mean? That means it's obvious. You know what obvious means? All right, here we go. Bandit 200 in citrus, old school with the triple grips on it. Mm. Neely does have good taste, and she has good taste in clothes, but she's getting expensive. Dang women. At least she don't want 500 pairs of shoes. She loves Crocs. You like your Crocs? Yeah. Yeah. I right. know my Crocs is my favorite. Hopefully she doesn't have a taste in boyfriends, so... Uh, dog check. Thank you so much. I'm going to guess you're a Georgia Bulldogs fan. You know I already have one. All right. Get another bait. You, know. you, you have a boyfriend? Yeah. I'm not very happy about that. Don't smile at me like that. No, no. She don't care. All right. Neely has picked this one out. A Bandit 200 OG in Humble Beast. Someone's put a red hook on here. No, it's, not. it's a good color. This is a good smallmouth color. All right. Now, I will tell you guys, this one does have just a little bit of imperfection below the lip. Because uh, this is an old one. What's up, Bag 5 Mac? Mac? Band. Yep. That's how you spell bandit. B-A-N-D-I-T. Let me find this guy. He's got to be on here somewhere. What is this? Well, oh, that's not cool. This one's not listed on there. What the heck, Neely? Okay, I'm gonna just pick it. All right, we're gonna pick a different one. All right, get off that. You. You're gonna get hurt. Yeah. Uh, I I guess I didn't have that list. I'll I'll put that one on there Saturday. Here's a one dollar yeah. Booyah Square Bill Raven Red. That is a good looker. I I can probably add it up here later. I just let me get all this other stuff ran. One dollar for a Booyah Square Bill and Raven Red. So this is the new XCS series. It's been out for a little bit. She is. I don't. I just joke with her. If she's, I think I've met her boyfriend before. Yeah. Have I met him at school? No. Who is it? It's Noah. Oh yeah, Noah's a good guy. 
All right, thanks, Warren. Appreciate it. Are you going through all my baits? I'm just looking at them. Okay. Six to nine inch swim baits, man. I don't have any right now. Um, here we go. Here's a little Strike Kings 6XD. I, I, I really need to go by the auction block. Here we go. Bandit 200 black red eyes. Here we go. I wish this thing would list the baits in the order I put them on here. It's just it's random. I guess it does it alphabetically. I don't know. Uh, black red eye, great little dirty water guy. Crappie fishermen like this one. This one is not pre Pradco. Uh, if you ever find any black with blue sparkles or black with green and a chartreuse belly, that's a high dollar bait. See if I can borrow Noah's art. Does Noah have a boat? Does your boyfriend have a boat? No. Thank he, you, Johnson. He's six. He's uh. Oh, he's only six. Well, yeah. I was hoping he had a boat. Then maybe he could take me fishing. He'd be on my good side then. No, he's little, Dad. Oh. Uh, he's just a kid. He's just a kid. Yeah, it's All not right. little. It's kind of huge. It's kind of big. All right, here we go. Here's a Build Ants fat-free fry. Needs cleaned up a little bit. This is a good color. Yeah, but you really do need to clean it. I know. It's a good color. Yeah. Don't see these every day. This is kind of a holograph. We call it purple shadow boot. Neely, is that pretty? Yeah. All right, here we go. Build Ants bait. Here we go. With the little red hook on the back. Fat free fry. This is the smaller version, you know, very similar in size, so like a Bandit two three hundred. Got that red eye on it. Tyler, I don't have any swim baits tonight, buddy. Uh, Ray says hello. Say hi. We need a widescreen, don't we? Yeah. Thank you, dog check. Okay. Well, I found my bag. All right. What you got there, Neely? Oh, a black and blue DD-22. Dude, bag five is still paying baits. Uh, yeah, you know, take it out. If you don't know this, uh, Mike's basically, uh, he's the lead Ooh. paint designer Ooh. for Strike King. He also helps design some baits. What do I use to clean on? Just 409 and a toothbrush works sure. really good for me. If you want to get really down to it, you can go get some buffing compound and a handheld buffer, and it will do wonders on them. But I don't really recommend that for wood baits. All right. You need buffing. Cool DD-22 here. Uh, so basically a, a blue flake, black okay. blue flake. You have to pay with Bucky Nugs. Oh, pay with Bucky Nugs? Yeah. I don't think it works like that, but I will trade baits for Bucky Nugs. Yeah. Do you like Bucky's, Neely? Yeah. Neely looks. All right, here we go. One dollar start. In front of the well. Uh, Someone yeah, that's a, a Mike Buka uh, Bull Glide, eight inch one. Yeah, this is a sweet color. Don't see this one every day. I like finding the DD 22s and uncommon colors. Yeah, well, I'll I'm show it off to something. you, Tyler. I'm not going to sell it. That's actually one I'm fishing with. Hmm? I'm going to say something. What do you want to say, Neely? My dad. Went fishing and we never caught a fish. Ooh, burn. Neely said we went fishing and didn't catch anything. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks, Far Seed. Uh, I'm going to show this guy's uh, bull shad bull glide real quick. Uh, this is it right here in the package. So this one was custom painted. Uh, it was, I think, 40 bucks. 140 bucks is what I paid for this thing. Actually, it was like 180. So this is a bull shad, eight inch trick shad. I'm sorry, the eight inch trick shad. I haven't even put the hooks on. I hadn't had time to go fishing, but really sweet bot bait from Mike Buka here. Uh, it's the time of year really. I need to start throwing this. You know, they're gonna be chasing shad. Shad spawns coming up. Shad are moving shallow. Yeah. He wants this map. Sweet, sweet glide. Of course, the trick shad doesn't glide as wide as the bull glide. Who wants this mouse? Mouse? Yeah. You found a mouse? Yeah. Where? Right here. Oh, yeah. We don't want to sell that one. Wow. Because it's messed up. Ooh. All right. It is a great glide. No, I haven't put it out the 6A crawl. You know what? Gravy, I'll look for it right now, and I will find it. 
Got a viewer request from Critical Gravy, Bomber 6A Crawl. Take one with the eyes closed. No. Oh. Mm. Let me find it here. I'm looking for it. I, I found I found what I'm looking for. Anyway. All right, here we go. Bomber 6A Crawl. Ooh, I like that one. You like everything, you know. That one. All right, here we go. This one's for gravy. Gravy! That's what I said. Yeah, actually, I can't remember exactly what I paid, but it was either 160 or 180 bucks. Uh, I bought that at the East Tennessee Fish Show. Bomber 6A, mm. brown crawl. Mm. Probably wipe it down a little bit, gravy. Mm. Not the one I want. Mm. We got all kinds of bait spread one. out over here. All right, thank you, Gravy. I might try to pick one. Yes. You want to try to pick one? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna try to pick one too. I might as well. We're we're on the. Uh... Here we go. Got the pretty pink one. Pink. One. That's not pink. That's a Tennessee Shad KVD 1.5. Tennessee. Yeah, you like Tennessee. When Neely gets mad at me, she says she doesn't like Tennessee. All right. Put a thumbs up if you like Tennessee. <laughs> I don't think they can do thumbs up. All right, here we go. This is it right here. Tennessee Shad KVD 1.5. Never fished. Whoa, you went jazz? Man, the 1.5 just freaking slays. Uh, I do have a show that I'm working on with Mark. Neely, you got to stay still. Okay. You're knocking stuff off. Uh, yeah, I filmed a show with Mark. He he slayed him. Lake Barkley, Fire Crawl 1.5. Hey, Jasper, congratulations. First time buyer. I believe I'll throw something in there extra for you. I'm going to have to clean this place up. Ain't it? Look at all them hooks. Be, yeah. be careful. You need uh, to move those boxes. Here we go. Let's find another. We got a sexy hmm. shad one. I want to pick. It takes too long when you're picking. Okay, you want to run that? All right, DD-22 and root beer. I'm trying to let Neely have a little fun. She likes to hang out with her dad. She likes the baits. One of these days, I'll be really organized. Maybe. All right, let me load it up here. Ooh. Mountain Dew is this color. Norman DD-22. Here you go. You know what? I actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. Saturday night, I'll load some cold water jackhammers. This is an awesome color. Don't ask why. I've caught a lot of fish on this color bait. So it's basically root beer chartreuse, but Norman calls it uh, Mountain Dew. And this is an old one. We're at nine bucks on this thing. Dude, this color does smack. I've actually got a few. I've drew the lateral line on. Thank you, Justin Neighbors. Appreciate it. Okay, the next one I want. Do you want a Strike King 6XD? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll put that up here. Strike King. Neely is picking them out. Thank you guys for all the following. I try to do, I try to do a stream once a week, sometimes twice. I think I'm going to play outside, man. You want to go play outside? All right, Neely. I love you. I love you. I'll help you. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Be careful. Okay. All right. Here we go. One, six, X, D. And Chartreuse Shad. Uh, I don't have any chatter baits right now. I, I think I'll load some for my next show. We'll probably do Saturday night. I've got some cross eyes I'd like to move, which are really good ones. And I got a couple jackhammers I don't throw that are just sitting there in a box. All right, Chartreuse Shad. This was originally a color made by Lucky Craft, and then everybody started copying it. Great clear water color. I like this color in the summer when everyone's been cranking Chartreuse and blue and all the loud colors. You usually go behind them with Chartreuse Shad, and you can get a bite or two. Really good one. Just a nice natural color. 
I hope they bite a big plug this, this summer on Kentucky. Like, man, that would be awesome. But, man, there's just so many big smallmouth to fish for. Y'all are going to see some weights in the MLF Invitational. Congratulations, Jasper. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right. I might even go the way in a couple of days to try and get some interviews with some anglers. We'll ask them about baits. All right. I'm going to try to go down the list now. Sometimes the app's not very responsive when you want to clear something out. It just sits there. All right. Here's a bandit. This one's in really good shape. So my list keeps changing and it, it won't ever stay the same. Uh, this is a really good OG bandit. 100 or 200. Great crawfish color. It's called dark brown. Uh, this is an OG pre Pratco. You can see it's got overspray up there. It's got your little stuff on the belly. Got the triple grip hooks. This is a really good one. Wish I had this one in package. This one looks like it's never been fished with. And the pre pride go bandits keep going up and up in price, man. And there's a lot of guys looking for these things. They're just a really solid bait that catches fish. All right, Nike nine or ten. First time buyer on the bandit. Appreciate that. Yeah, this is a good one. The brown craw is just a fish catcher. All right. I thought you were going to play. I just want to say something. Oh, how about a little Lucky Craft? She was going to go play until she didn't get attention. All right, Lucky Craft LC 1.5. I believe they call this one Delta Crawl. Good bait here. Good bait. Not the Rick Klein version. This is the newer version. Just a nice little red square bill. $4 right now. That's a really good deal on a Lucky Craft. A fish catching color too. All right, I'm gonna move a few more baits, and I'm gonna do another giveaway here in just a second for followers. What's up, Bobcast Bargains? All right, congratulations, five dollars on the Lucky Craft. Uh, I'm gonna load a giveaway, guys. Giveaway number two, it's up. Make sure you follow me. I'm going to give away an OG uh, Con Cordell Super Spot. So that's the giveaway. Number two. All right. Function here. Man, I wish I could find this freaking bait. All right, here we go. Here's a DD22. And I believe this color is called Green Pumpkin Candy. Don't see this one very often. Everyone likes green pumpkin candy and soft plastic. Why not? Let's put it in a deep diver. So this is one of those colors that Norman made that Pradco didn't keep. Here you go. That's a, This is just a beautiful looking one. Yeah, man, this is Norman DD-22. Run the DT flat. All right, Nathan, I'll do that. Next will be a Rapala DT flat 7. Man, it's amazing the knocker on these things. Big knockers. All right. DT flat in the thin end. All right. We can do it. We can do it. Mountain bass are going to take this one down. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. So I was like, man, I can't believe that's out there. All right. Let me find it, Nathan. It'll be in this box somewhere. What's great is after I get them all out here, then I've got to reorganize them after when it's shipping time. All right, DT Flat 7, Chartreuse Purple Shiner. My favorite color in this bait. So it does have a little dirt on it, but I've already got some of it off. It's just from sitting in a tackle box next to other baits. 
the bills of mint never been fished got the sure set hooks on there i recommend taking them off if you fish it all right all right here we go she is running yeah man so this is the old school jank juice you know the rapala version a lot deeper purple guys we got 30 people in the giveaway uh make sure you guys hit the follow enter the giveaway start following me you'll be in Ooh. these are getting harder and harder to find the, the threes are getting really hard to find landfill duck is winning duck is all over it tonight congratulations duck I hear my son yelling at the TV. He must be getting pumped in war zone. All right, let's find this thin end. I know I've got one in here. Here we go. These are great little baits too. I literally just grabbed it. And where's it going? I have to excuse me. I'm working out of a Halloween bucket. All right, Norman Thin in. I don't actually have a lot of these. This is, uh, I think I got one more and it's in my person stash. So. All right, here we go. Norman Thin in and citrus. A little bitty finesse flat side from Norman they made years ago. I don't, I don't know if they still make it or not, but it's a fan favorite. Guys like it. Yeah, got one minute to get into the giveaway, guys. One minute for the giveaway. <clears throat> Good little bait. So Saturday night, I'm going to mix in some soft plastic dip. I'm going to mix in some soft plastics, some jigs, some finesse football jigs. Thank you, Justin. Uh, probably get some swim baitage in there. And some more bandits. I got a bunch. I got more old school bandits I didn't load. So I don't like doing shows where I gotta sell 200 baits. I try to keep it 50, 60 things. And all right. All right. Let's see what we got next here. How about a little bomber 6A? I'm trying to find some of these baits they got pre bids on them. I had a fat free shad loaded up there, but here we go. Here's a little bomber 6A. It's not a screw tail. He's a little clean and done. It's a white. It's got glitter in it. Chartreuse back. Who won the giveaway, guys? Who won the giveaway? I didn't see it. If you won the giveaway, congratulations. D Mart. Dang, D Mart. Racking up tonight. Thank you, man. Bomber 6A, just, just a good current bait. It's amazing that no one's ever tried to really replicate that bomber lip. You know, it, it gives a bait just really good action. Just a classic bait. I always like the bomber 4A in baby bass. That's a great little pond bait. Hey, thank you, Jessrick. Thank you. Thank you guys for all the new falls. Fat Man Customs. Appreciate that. All right. Here's a really cool Bomber 6A. It's definitely a new one because of the writing on it. Just a wild color here. Kind of like a lemon lime with some blue on it. It's one thing about Bomber, I don't know the color names 100%, but that's just, that'd be a good little walleye bait. I like the loud colors, you know, if I'm fishing around smallmouth for some, or for some reason. Neely's gone wild. She, Neely's my wild child. Brooks, he's calmed down now. 
You're going to get hurt on that. You know, when you tell them they're not going to get hurt and they say I'm not, usually five minutes later you're going to the ER. So. Thank you, Warren. Uh, that one there. It's going to keep on going. What's up, Raid? Where is that fat free shed? I don't know where that my fat free shed is. My wife's home. What was it? Can I touch your Furby? Stretch my Furby. Yeah. All uh, right. If you guys don't think I will, I will. All uh, right. Booyah Square Bill and Citrus XCS 100. So next, it's a dollar. Stretch my Furby. All right. I don't. I don't care. We'll see. We'll see what how the wife reacts. Nice little bait here. I love the citrus with the chrome. Even like in the fat free shad, Z Boss did one too. Hey, first time winner. Thank you, Coffin 50 Cal. Get you a little something extra in your package. Oh, she's talking to her girlfriend on the phone, so this would be even better. Hey, Brittany, Brittany, will you come here real quick? I. Tell Tanita to pause. This is important. I'm with my mom. Oh, your mom? Okay. Well, I got something to ask you when you're not on the phone. All right. Hear about another DD-22 baby bass lateral line? Yeah, we're not going to ask mom. Don't let the dogs out, Neely. They already went and potty. No, they want to go run around the subdivision. Come here, Teddy. Come here, Bear. Hey! Come here. I'm sorry, guys. It's it's just gotten really hectic right now. My daughter needs better to let the dogs out. It's got a little bit of scuff on it. You can get that out. It's a good little color. Nice and clear water. Nice. More, it's more, their baby bass is more of a shad pattern, in my opinion. Guys. The Beverly Hillbillies ain't got nothing on me. Neely, I'm trying to sell some baits here. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm not the I don't like running music in the background. All right. How about another Norman DD22? I got a bunch of these. This one is in root beer. Not Mountain Dew, but we got root beer. You got six kids? Dang. You're brave. That's all I can say. I, my hair's already about fell out. So if I had six, we would be smooth up top. I can tell you that. So. What's up, Big's Time? What's up, country girl? Thanks for joining in. D22 and root beer. Oh, man. You know what? I did not notice this. Uh, this bait has a split in behind i'm not going to sell this i did not notice this my apologies jasrick i might have one in my personal collection if i can't find an extra one of this root beer i'm going to cancel this because i'm not going to sell sell a, a, a bait with with an issue on it just just not my style so i might have one in my personal stuff up here if i can replace it i will um i'm not yeah i, I did not notice that I'm not, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to set that to the side. All right. Yeah, we don't want to sink it. All right, here's a deep little end. I guess we're just going to run our Normans here. This is a cool little pattern. It's a little coach dog pattern, deep little end. If you guys want to know why bait split, I'll tell you in just a second. Here you go. Norman Deep Little Inn. Little Coach Dad. Yeah, man, I'm glad I caught that. Um, I should have one. It's a great little, almost kind of like a fire tiger. This is an old school one. So some of these old school Normans, they got a matte finish. So why do baits split? Sean is kind of right, heat and humidity. If you look at this bait, you see there's a seam on it. You see on the bottom and the top. So when these crankbaits are made, they're actually pressed together. Back five, Mike. Congratulations, back five, Mike. 
I'll have to ship it to you, even though I'd love to deliver it to you. I'll ship it to you. Um, because I can't just deliver it or whatnot. I'm giving no cred for it. But anyway, so a lot of these are sonic welded. So it's pre they're pressed together. What happens? Heat, humidity, or it gets cold. Think about concrete. You ever seen them lay concrete? Every so often, there's they have a seam. So that allows it to expand and contract. Same thing will happen to your baits. Whether you have them in a plano box or not, Big time changes and heat and humidity will make that plastic expand and contract. And if there's any small air bubbles inside the bait, that's usually what happens. Happens to all brands, Mega Bass, Six Sense, Strike King, Yozuri. You can get unfortunate and it happened to you. So yeah, I don't think yeah, mother Ner that's mother nature's way of stretching the furby. All right. That's just a great day. All right, Bandit Footloose. Man, I have not come across any in a long time. Where's that? So this is the Bandit's version of a Baby One Minus, is the Footloose. Really good little bait. A lot of guys been asking for, for some. Sharkshirts and blue one. Here we go. Pre Pradco with the triple grippies. Good little bait. Smaller than a baby one minus, which is fine. All right, Mike. Uh, I got to work all, work at nights this week. Yeah, you can wake this if you want to. You can fish it right below the surface. Dude, there's guys that pay some good money for these footloose. But we're going to get somebody a good little deal here. A lot of guys want the shad colors, the whites, um, the craw ones too. Yeah, guys, if y'all want the best in custom painted baits, uh, I want to say the best because uh, JCH first purchase things. I'll, I'll say the best around me. And that's no discredit to Mike because I'm one of those guys. There's no best bait in the world. There's no best fishing color. But one of the top guys in the industry to paint your baits, he sets the standard for a lot of things. I'll put it that way. And if Berkeley and Strike King are going to hire you to design paint jobs, that's all you need to know. And go check out Mike Russell, Bag 5 Baits. Uh, really good dude. And some of the new colors from Strike King that are coming – they're all designed right here down the road for me. Uh, I do get some sneak peeks sometimes. There's a new crankbait coming at iCast. Uh, it's a bad mammer jammer. So, and hey, I'm wearing a six cents hat, but I real recognize as real. I can tell you when a, there's a good bait or not. So, I th I agree, LG. I think cadence and profile go over color most of the time. Like I've seen it where you can throw the same color bait in a different size, and they don't bite it. Yeah, so I've been working with Six Sense for about six years now. Hey, thanks for raiding Hume's Flips. Uh, they're good people to me, man. But I've got friends at Strike King. I've got friends at Berkeley. I've got friends all over. I love baits, um, but I do like working with Six Sense. I get a lot of input on some stuff there. So, all right, let's go another. Here's another pre prad go bandit. Same color as the Footloose, a little Sharks Blue. How did you get into the game, man? Uh, I've been fishing since I was in diapers. So there's got the triple grips on it. So I've been fishing since I've been in diapers, literally. Uh, I've worked at several tackle shops here on Kentucky Lake. And I'll be honest, man, uh, and Mike Russell can probably back me up on this. I was probably one of the first guys doing Facebook Live, talking tackle and stuff like that. And then I kind of converted it over to YouTube. And Big Dance Breaks. Thanks, man. You break cards. And uh, I've always been kind of in the industry. I was, uh, what's your dead giveaway sign that it's a pre Pradco? When they got the bronze triple grip hooks, Pradco never used those. Now, someone can also replace them, but to me, uh, the pre Pradco ones are, are not as shiny as the new ones. So, you kind of look at this, 
and it's got a clear coat on it, but it, just, it doesn't just pop. Like I wish I had a new one handy. They the new ones really pop. Uh, anytime you see overspray on the lip, or sometimes there's a seam right here below the lip. The new Pradco ones don't have any. Uh, the Pradco ones, yeah, they do have some eye raises, but on some of them, a lot of them, if you look on the belly here, there'll be like two little dots or an indention. That's definitely a pre Pradco one. And colors. There's some colors they just did not make. I'm into the sport cars, my friend. My son has got me into it. The easiest way to tell Kyle is if you got a card. If it's on the card, it's a no-brainer. All right. I guess we're just going to keep running these bandits. Dude, this is a beautiful one. This So, like, here's one you look at. Okay, that's pre Pradco. So, this is a Chartreuse Blue Splatterback. You see where it's painted up on the lip? Uh, that's a dead giveaway. It wasn't painted in China. All right. Here we go. Chartreuse Blue Splatter. This is a good, sexy one. Yeah, I've thought about doing some card breaks, but... Man, I don't have anywhere to really get the product. I just got into a Topps Tribute break the other night, and I hit a Craig Biggio, uh, I think it's 6 out of 25 on-card auto. I was really happy with that. I think I was here on Whatnot Jimbo's break, so I think I paid 10 bucks or something like that. That's a $100 card. Thank you, Big Dance Breaks. First time buy, I'll throw you something extra in your package. I enjoy it. I like, I collect a lot of college stuff. I'm a Tennessee fan, so. All right, another bandit down. Thank you. Uh, all right, here's another one. This is a pre Pradco Bandit 200. Got the triple grips on it. Great springtime color. Spring crawl, chartreuse. So I guess they're calling the pattern spring crawl and then everything else chartreuse. But if you look on the bottom of these pre prad ones, sometimes you'll see a little circular indention. Sometimes a couple dots. That's a dead giveaway. It's pre prad code. But for me, if I see that overspray up on the bill, I know it. Because when they were painting these baits, they would tape it. They use masking tape over the bill so the whole bill didn't. Dude, I know a lot of guys like these bandits for trolling, man. Thank you, Big Dance Breaks. I'll hit you with a follow -up. If you're breaking here on whatnot, I'll have to get in. Yeah, if they got dots on the belly, it's definitely pre Pradco. They did change their mold up at one time and even before they went to Pradco to get rid of that. But all right. This one needs cleaned up. This is one of my favorite color bandits. I think theirs is beautiful, by the way. Needs cleaned up. I guess it was sitting, the hooks are in good shape. I guess it was sitting next to something in a tackle box. Chartreuse purple. I would like to get all the purple bandits. They did a chartreuse purple splatter. There's a purple crawl. There's, but I love how a little bit of blue comes out in this one. Yeah, dude, this is this one is money. It does. You can see, though, it's got some dirt on it. I just got lazy and didn't clean it up. But it'll catch. I mean, let's be honest. If I'm a bass, I'm not going to get off of it because there's some, some dirt. But, yeah, good bait right here. Whoa, Wayne really wants it. Tell you what, I've got a bunch of these in my personal stash. I may swap this that one out. But I don't know if they're OG, so they should be. All right, we'll just keep rolling here. This is one a lot of guys pre-bid on here. This is a brown, black stripes, Bandit 200. And 
So there's the two dots right there. That's dead giveaway. It's a pre Pradco bandit. There we go. Hey, not a problem, Wayne. I, I would like to purple and white bandit 200. Hmm. Dog check. I'll look. I might have one. I'm ready for yard sale season, to be honest, because I think maybe I can get real loaded on some bandits in yard sales. It's really common bait. I feel like the OG pre Pradco bandits are going to be the next wiggle wart. They made a ton of colors. They made a lot of limited colors. They ran good. They caught fish. And guys, remember baits that catch fish. I don't worry about baits that didn't catch fish. But when something that catches fish is discontinued, that's when people want. Thanks, Wayne. So let's say they discontinued the KBD 1.5. They won't be real valuable in about in a year. But in about five years, you talk about a fish catcher discontinued, going to be people hunting them. All right, let's we'll keep going down. Let's. Here's another. I think I. So here's a. This is not a Bandit 200, by the way. I'm going to edit this. This is actually a Rebel uh, Deep Deep R. So I'm going to edit this listen, listing real quick. Damn, it's gotten hot. This is a deep crank R, not a wee R. In a good bandit style code. All right, here we go. Rebel deep crank R. Here we go. How do I know if it's a pre Pradco bandit? Uh, I've kind of discussed this. I'll, if a bandit's pre Pradco, a lot of times you'll have some overspray from the body to the lip, triple grip hooks, for the most part, that was all pre Pradco and colorways. Uh, honestly, when Pradco bought Bandit, they quit making a bunch of color. Bandit had almost 200 different colors and some special. So this one ain't a Bandit. This is a Rebel Deep Crank R, great color, good trolling bait. All right, big dance breaks. Packaging, it's really easy. If it says Sardis, Mississippi, or Made in Guatemala, I believe, or actually Made in China or Sardis, Mississippi. So China was the late run of pre Pradco. The new ones are Made in Guatemala. Like, I'm pretty sure I can look on one of these packages in here. I'm going to tell you. All right, let's keep on going here. Out of Bandit 300. And baby bass. God, where are these things at? So this is an old one. And this is a 300 series. And baby bass. What is going on? Here we go. I do have some jerk baits, man. Uh, let me know what you're looking for. Yes, yeah, some will be in Mexico uh or assemble to mexico if they say anything about sardis mississippi they're definitely pre pradco um i'm pretty sure the new ones are made in guatemala this is a really good little baby bass car og bandit flinthead baits congratulations man i love the new buyers love the new buyers All right, Bandit 400. So I got a bunch more Bandit 400s going up this weekend too. And the humidity is going to. So this is kind of a a ghost gray back. It's got the little weight in the lip. This is the early generation deep diver. A lot of guys like these old Bandit 400s, man. Just a really good little color here. It's got the big triple grips on it. These baits always ran really true. They do kind of pull a little hard. 
but it's, it's a run kind of in, in between what a DD-22 and DD-14 would run. It's about a 13, 14-foot diver deflects really good. And they don't make the 400s anymore. BFS cranks, micros. I got some uh, tiny wild peanuts. Uh, I might put them up there. If I could find some BFS cranks. No, I got to work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I got a tennis a TV show I got to get done by Friday afternoon. So it'll be Saturday. But always feel free to slide in my DMs and let me know some stuff you're looking to see. I'm really low on inventory, too. I've been... I'm not having much luck buying stuff lately. People just don't want to respond to messages. So and I don't, I'm not going to sit here and sell Guggen baits. So, all right, here's another. This is a beautiful bait. Bandit, pre Pratco, Bandit 400, Thread Fin Shad. Check that one out. Really good. Uh, the Thread Fin Shad was one of the best sellers in the 200 series, too. One thing I do have, uh, I've got a Bandit 200 in Root Beer Clear. Very rare color that I'll be putting up Saturday. And some Root Beer Bandits and Root Beer Chartreuse. Good one here. Man, That's I think uh, Bandit had one of the most beautiful Threadfin Shad crankbaits out there. I like the Flat Max in Threadfin Shad, too. Just really good looking bait. Natural, nothing crazy. Mountain Bastard, thank you so much. I'd like to see Strike King have a bait in this color if you're uh, listening there, Mike. Yeah, I think that's what made them so popular. It, you know, when Bandit first came out, they weren't really expensive, but they ran good. They caught fish. I remember when I was first selling fish and tackle, you could buy bandit crankbait for like $449, $459. And this was the early 2000s. Now they're $799. All right, here's a bandit flat max. This is great bait. A nice flat shat, flat sided crankbait. Don't cost an arm and a leg. Flat max is really good and they cast pretty decent. And this one's in root beer. Bandit flat max. So they still make some flat maxes, but they don't make near the colors they used to. But yeah, this one's pretty practical. So I'll tell you, on the flat max, there's a little hump here. And on the old ones, you can feel that hump. The new ones are much more streamlined. Just a springtime killer right here. Or if you're up north around some perch, that brute beer just catches them. I've got a sour grape flat max that mike gave me i won't sell it there's no telling when it's hog wild thank you i'll have more flat maxes too on the next show so we'll have us a pretty good show saturday a lot of bandits i just can't sit here for four hours all right here's another shallow flat max what you need? hold on my wife's here hey uh do you mind if i stretch your furby later what yeah you know, stretch your Furby? No. Okay, never mind. My wife said no. I just got the weirdest look ever. All right. <clears throat> Flat Mac Shallow, Tennessee Shad. Here we go. Yeah, I definitely got a sketch. I don't think my wife understood what I was trying to say. I will have to explain the story over dinner here in a minute. Anyway, I'm fixing to run the last giveaway after this Flat Max Shallow Tennessee Shad. Really good little bait. I like the Flat Max. One of the more underappreciated flat side crankbaits out there. I think it gets overlooked. I even overlook it a lot of times. She looked at me like, are you high? And then when she thought about it, she's like, no. What if she said yes? Then this would have quickly turned into an OnlyFans. I'm just kidding, guys. We don't need that. No. Baby, do you have any 25 to 30 pound spider wire available? I do not, man. I, I'm not a guy that stop, buys a lot of line or anything, but if I find it, you know, you know, in a lot of tackle or something, I'll throw it up there. All right. 
Ooh, I didn't. Here's a Rapala glass fat wrap. Evidently, these are pretty desirable. Not a guy that threw a fat wrap a whole lot, but they definitely catch fish. A lot of guys like these glass ones. It's kind of a clear orange belly, and green. Yeah, I don't. I guess I'd been the first fish guy in the fishing industry to uh, have it only fans. I don't know. Trait Zaldane's really mad at me right now, Sean. Cool little bait, man. I guess I'm going to have to find more of these. I like the, uh, they did a glass series that was almost like a, a DT6. Uh, thank you, Landfill Duck. And Landfill might know. They did like a glass series. is like a glass crank and wrap. I really like those. I really like the, the glass crank and wrap. My kid is going so wild. All right, guys. We don't have too much left. Uh, here's a shad wrap 07. This is not a Finland or it's just a normal shad wrap 07 in bluegill. One dollar here. I'm just going to keep it in the bag. I think we all know what a shad wrap is, or some might call them deep runners. So there's a shad, the shad wrap deep runners, anything that's seven or over, or it's the length of the bill. Dude, I, <clears throat> yeah, there's, I, I've done a lot of things for baits. That's for sure. Nothing terrible, but. I would definitely dance for Chippendales for some uh, some high-end swim baits. You know what? There's a fetish for everything, so no reason to body shame myself. Somebody be, be out there like short, bald-headed fishing guys. What's up, schooled up fishing? All right, we're fixing to run the next giveaway. We only got 30 guys in here. Thank you, Culpin. Let's run our last giveaway here tonight. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Since I didn't load this up, our last giveaway is going to be a, an OG Bandit 200. We're going to put this Humble Bee. This is probably a $10 to $12 Bandit. We're going to put this as our last giveaway, okay? So make sure you guys hit that follow button. You'll be involved in this. One. So let's get everything else finished out here. How about a Deep We Are in Purple Crawl? Love this color. The bandit made a color similar to but this is a deep we are if you're a rebel collector or whatnot. In here. I like the deep we are. One of the most overrated spring crankbaits to me. It's just a good bait in general. This one's this one's in good shape. One thing about the rebels, the bills do kind of get a little foggy after a bit. But this and the bandit 300, they're they're kind of little brothers. Big Dance Breaks, I appreciate you, man. First time buyer buying up the tackle tonight. OG Bandit giveaway. Yes, sir. We got a lot of viewers fell off, but that's okay. All right, Strike King 5XD. Sexy Blue Bike Herring. It's $1. Am I solid on forward facing sonar? I'll put it this way I don't mind forward facing, I can use it. I don't have a boat right now, so I'm just kind of at the mercy when I go with somebody, but I'm pretty confident in it. I'm, I'm not Jake Lawrence or anybody like that uh, or, or none of these new guys, but I'm a computer guy. I'm a technology guy. You give me a couple weeks or a month with it, I would figure it out. But I like fishing old school, man. I, and that's, But I'm also the guy that like, I respect the guys, the younger guys that put their time in and all that and have learned the new technology. So, John Garrett is a really good bass fisherman. A friend of mine just won the Bassmaster. I'm a little upset because people are saying, oh, look, another scoper wins a tournament. Uh, John Garrett qualified for the Bassmaster Classic through college before live scope was a thing. That dude can catch them. So, you get a guy with really good fishing ability and knowledge, and you give him technology – so this guy can catch them up shallow. He can catch them with a graph or without it. So when you get these tournaments in Florida where everybody's kind of beating the banks, catching 12, 13 pounds, 
it can use that technology to go find fish that no one else is looking for. And that makes it. Yeah, Ben is a really good dude. And Ben's a friend of mine. I, he had a bad tournament in Florida, but Ben and Tay, you can't be in the top five every tournament. And this is his, what, third, fourth Bassmaster tournament. And he's done really solid his first three, and that includes a classic. I couldn't have fished the classic if I qualified. I'd be so dang nervous. I'd have shat going down my legs. So, all right. God dang. All right. We got KVDs back to back. KVD 1.5 and sexy shad. Barney's leading this one. Yeah, and it's always, I, I'm going to be honest. Um, you see it about Jacob Wheeler, Dustin Connor. Oh, they're cheating or they're going around being whole buzzards. Okay. Both going on Bassmaster. Uh, Wheeler's won everything. FLW Championship, All-American, without forward-facing sonar. He's just good. And I really hate when people talk about, oh, they can't paste the lie detector, this and that. Okay, number one, lie detector is inadmissible in court. Number two, do you have proof? that I've never seen any proof that ha has happened. So. I agree, Big Dance Breaks. Every, everybody on the late series has access to the technology. All right, KVD 1.5 in red, and I've got one last bait. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I've just, it's all hearsay, man. It's correct. And just like anything, if you're not a good operator, you can skew results how you want to. I think Barney, somebody's going to take this down. This one's like brand new. Like, I, I don't have an issue with Trait Zaldane. She can be a little controversial, but like personally, I ain't got an issue. So I think I need to fix my tweet that she just yelled at me. Because I, I saw some stuff from people like hating on John Garrett or whatnot. And I'm like, hey, I hope you're not talking about John Garrett. Dude, 12 bucks. Holy smokes, guys. Thank you, Hogwild. Definitely fix your package up. All right. Giveaway is going right now for OG Bandit 200. Swervy. Swervy. Thank you, man. He's been around here for long. All right. Last bait tonight. Oh, Bill Dance. Fat free fingerling. And I'm going to tell you guys, this one's not in really good shape. I don't expect anybody to pay much for this. I wouldn't. Um, I, I almost took it off here. So there's a little crack in the hologram over here. Uh, there's a few little places on top that's chipped up. So, you know, three, four bucks. Dude, I think Trey's a really, really good fisherman. Now, with that said, there's a lot of gray area in fishing in that lock. And the only thing I will say is I was always thought anytime you're in a lock, you have to have your life jacket on. So don't know what he was told. I don't know if he talked to the tournament director. If he did, then whatever. But there's a lot of guys upset about that. But Trey's a really good fisherman. Very good. All right. So that's the show for tonight. Thank you guys so much that participated. Uh Got bought baits tonight. You'll get them probably by the weekend. Uh, I enjoy doing whatnot, talking some bass and talking baits and all that. It's on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit the follow button. Uh, we'll be back Saturday night. Might have some more of these. There's a bandit deep baby in. We'll be back Saturday night. Uh, probably going to run some soft plastics, some jigs, some other stuff. I'm going to try to have a little variety and uh, not a problem, D Mart. Thank you guys so much. If you're not following me, hit that follow button. I'll probably jump into some whatnots tonight and buy some stuff from other guys. Y'all have a good one.